welcome to International Pro Wrestling, wrestling the way it should be. I'm your host, Buddy Lee. Last week, we ran out of time. Now let's go to the ring for the exciting conclusion of the match between Bulldozer and the gorgeous JR and Mighty Nation. Bulldozer with a swing shot off the ropes and a Russian hammer on standing bear. Well, welcome our color analyst, Mr. Shane Kelly. Glad to be here, buddy. Bulldozer reaching for a tag. He made the tag to the gorgeous one. And Bulldozer checking things out behind him. <laughs> Red Eagle trying to come in, but the referee put him out. Red Eagle, hot. Red Eagle ready to go. He's trying to fire up the audience, get the momentum going in Standing Bear's favor. JR slamming Standing Bear into the turnbuckle. Danny Bear is going for the tag, but you notice JR interfered. JR keeping Standing Bear in the center of the ring. What a chop by JR. And of course, Red Eagle waiting for that tag. Bulldozer just drove the knee into the forehead of Standing Bear. And what a knee that was. Bulldozer's controlling the match. Standing Bear's trying his best to fight his way out. Great big elbow from the big man bulldozer. And I believe the tag was made again. Yes, it was. Now the gorgeous one. Right back in with a stomp. Now he's pulling Standing Bear out by the hair. That was a punch, a vicious punch to the forehead. They have Standing Bear in trouble. Ooh, Standing Bear cannot get to his partner right now, and that's uh, his, his partner standing on the ropes there. Ready to go, waiting for a tag. Slicks it off the ropes. A great backdrop by the gorgeous JR. Again, JR picks him up before he can make the tag. Slamming him into the knee of Bulldozer. And in comes the big man. Kick by Bulldozer in the Standing Bear's midsection. Standing Bear's in big trouble. Bulldozer's staying on him. And Gypsy seems to be happy. Standing Bear. up against the ropes, JR now. The legal man in the ring is JR. The backdrop on Red Eagle. Red Eagle on the mat, JR with a little help from the hair, pulling Red Eagle up on his feet. Slank shot. There's jumping Jeff Farmer. Well, he did it. He pinned me right there in the middle of the ring. There's always a lesson to be learned every time you step in the ring. In Motley Cruz, you taught me one very good lesson. You took me out of my game plan. I couldn't wrestle my kind of match. Believe me, I learned and I learned well. It don't take me long. Next time I get you in the ring, you're mine. New tactics, new game plan. You're mine. We'll be back. Wrestling the way it should be. Coming March 23rd to Hollister, Missouri. Coming March 24th to Bradleyville, Missouri. That's Hollister, Missouri, March 23rd. Bradleyville, Missouri, March 24th. Come out and have some fun. In this match, Tony the Spider against Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Spider is a very controversial wrestler. And this jumping Jeff Farmer, Shane, he's a, uh, he's a flyer a lot. He's, he gets, stays in the air. He's a high flyer. Lock up. Tony the Spider just driving Jumping Jeff Farmer back into the ropes. And a little slap there. A little slap from Tony the Spider, and that kind of uh, started things off right on the on uh, Jumping Jeff. He just wanted Jeff to know that he's uh, uh, ready to do battle. Lock up. Tony the Spider into the headlock. And I'll tell you something, with Jumping Jeff, he's got a battle ahead of him. Oh! 
Atomic drop by jumping Jeff Farmer, and that took the wind out of Tony the Spider. That lowers Tony the Spider's uh, aggression right here a little bit, I would think. He's hurting, and you can tell where he's hurting at. <laughs> Tony the Spider. Well, you can see he's telling the ref uh, that jumping Jeff pulled his tights and telling the referee to ask the fans. Circling in the ring. Right right back to that. And a great headlock takeover by Tony the Spider. He's talking to the referee now, telling him that Jumpin' Jeff's pulling his hair. He's telling the referee a bunch of things. Uh, referee keeping, trying to keep a good watch on the... Whoa! Scissors locked to the head of Tony the Spider by Jumpin' Jeff. This could be very painful, Shane. I'd hate to be in that predicament to just see how painful it is. Tony the Spider in the obvious uh, wrong place at the wrong time here. And Jeff's just slapping that leg and putting the pressure on him. Jumping Jeff, usually better in the air than on the mat. Uh, right now he's doing a great job on the mat. You see Tony the Spider holding those ears. He's in, he's in trouble. Circling. That's like having frostbite when you come up out of that. Those ears are burning. I think a little kick there from Tony the Spider and starting to hit in the back. And uh, now jumping Jeff down, back up again. Spider going for the suplex. And he got it. Great vertical suplex by Tony the Spider. Going for the pin now. Kick oh, out. Did you see how far jumping Jeff threw him off? Jumping Jeff was not ready to stay on the mat. I think the referee got a little piece of the spider then. The spider. Back to that front face lock. And look how punishing it is. He just lifted Jeff up into the air. Tony the spider still with the advantage at this point. Referee's calling for the break. It's quick breaks by Tony the spider and right back to the face lock. Mm. Jumping Jeff with the inverted atomic drop. Tony the Spider's in bad trouble now. That's two at atomic drops in this match, and Tony the Spider has got tremendous trouble to the lower back. Wrestlers circling in the ring, lock up. Great arm drag. Right into an arm bar by Jeff and Jeff Farmer. And putting the pressure on Tony the Spider. Now he's in trouble, he's just up in pain. He's hollering, wanting out of this hole. Jumping Jeff, determined. Tony on his feet, little fist to the midsection, couple of fists to the midsection. Body slam by Tony the Spider. There's some hesitation there. I think Tony should get right back on jumping Jeff. He should not hesitate. Another body slam by Tony the Spider. Now he's going for the cover. Let's see if he can do it. Referee counting. No, he couldn't hold Farmer. Kick out by Farmer. Ooh, there's the shoelaces to the forehead. Tony the Spider is seriously trying to hurt this man. Now he's just punishing the face. Jumping Jeff. He's doing his best to shake it off, but Tony's right mm. back on him. And that, that was to the eyeball. Jumping Jeff still on the mat on his knees. Tony the Spider still taking advantage of this. Now he goes to the nose. He's worked on every part of the face. Tony the Spider kind of uh, bragging a little bit there, maybe. Well, he wants the fans to see what he's got. I don't think they approve. And Tony with some fists to the face. That one didn't connect very well, but he already had jumping Jeff dazed. Slingshot into the turnbuckles. And he drove that shoulder into the midsection. Now Tony the Spider back on jumping Jeff with some fists to the throat, it looked like. Farmer was on his knees. He just drove the fist home. Now he's going for the suplex, but jumping Jeff with a small package. Referee down and counting. That looks like the ropes. Tony the Spider knew where the ropes were. He got a foot on them. That was the only way to break that hole. Tony the Spider and Jumping Jeff firing on each other. Uh, jumping Jeff coming right back on him with a great standing fist. drop kick. What a standing drop kick by Jumping Jeff. That goes back to his high flying ability. Jumping Jeff now slinging Tony the Spider into the turnbuckle. Swing shot off the ropes. Close line. And it looks like Tony the Spider is down and out. Could this be it? Referees counting. No, Tony the Spider was able to kick out. Tony the Spider. Now back on his feet with a little help from Jumpin' Jeff. 
Woods backing him into the turnbuckle. This could be dangerous. Swing shot into the other turnbuckle. Here comes Jeff and Jeff. He's going for a victory roll. No, Tony the Spider just collapsed from under him. He was too worn out. What a predicament. The referee is calling for the break. Jeff and Jeff frustrated. You can see anger. And there, a great drop kick by Jump and Jeff. A standing drop kick, and that put Tony the Spider back on the mat. Jump and Jeff snatching Tony the Spider up by his hair. Going for the suplex, and he got it. Oh, now there is some dangerous territory. Tony the Spider is on the mat, the result of a suplex. He is exhausted. Jump and Jeff firing right back on him. Tony the Spider is just out on his feet. Tony the Spider with a turnbuckle holding him up. Jeff slingshot into the turnbuckle. He's going for the victory roll again. Let's see if he can hold it. Riding him down. Yes, he does. He's got it. Referee's counting. That's the match. The win goes to jumping Jeff Carter. Tony the Spider. Tony the Spider losing the match after coming in so strong at the beginning. Folks, here's Randy Bryant. Thank you, Buddy Lee. I come to the IPW for one reason, Bill Ash. Bill Ash, two years ago, Christmas night, you took something away from me that nothing on God's green earth can replace. You broke my arm and you broke my shoulder. And it's been two long, long years, Bill Ash. But let me tell you something. I'm bigger, I'm faster, and I'm stronger. And with all them wrestling fans out there behind me, we're taking you out, Ash. We're going to take you out. We'll be back. Wrestling the way it should be, coming March 24th to Bradleyville, Missouri. Coming March 30th to Norwood, Missouri. That's March 24th, Bradleyville, Missouri, March 30th, Norwood, Missouri. Come on out and join us. Twice on television, Richie Rude just commented he did not really want to get into the ring with a man 100 pounds heavier and a lot more experience. Well, contracts are signed, everything's taken care of, everything but the match. Now let's go to the ring and see what happens. Here it is, Richie Rouge in the ring with the bulldozer. I'm looking forward to this match, buddy. There's a lot of weight difference. A lot. Look at Bulldozer. Look at Richie. In fact, this was discussed in one of the interviews. Richie discussed how big Bulldozer was. And just think of the experience Bulldozer has over Richie Rouge. But the contracts have been signed, so uh, both wrestlers are going to get in here and show us what they can do. Well, they have to wrestle after they've signed the contract. A lot of emotion surrounding this match. And right off, Richie Rouge into a top wrist lock on Bulldozer. Bulldozer with a body slam on Richie Rouge. And right on top of him, the Bulldozer is. Richie wasting no time at getting out of that. And Bulldozer just drove an elbow into the back of the head. Now he's putting the leather to Richie Rouge. Well, this Bulldozer could be a vicious man. Yes, he can. A slingshot off the ropes, and Bulldozer catches him with a big clothesline. Bolos are up, Bolos are back down with a knee to the midsection and chest of Richie. And as you know, Bolos are weighs 300 pounds, so you can imagine the impact of that knee. That elbow down onto the head of Richie. Kick. He's just putting the leather to him. Bulldozer snatching Richie back up and back down with an elbow. I really think that Bulldozer is just trying to teach Richie Rude a lesson. Looks like another body slam. And it is. Bulldozer just standing over Richie Rouge. Richie Rouge taking punishment in this match. The head of Bulldozer against the head of Richie Rouge. It's kind of like a brick wall, that head of Bulldozer. And then a hard punch to the side of the head. Richie Rouge. No wonder he didn't want to get in here with this man. Look at the size. Look at what Bulldozer's doing. What a neck breaker by Bulldozer. Bulldozer, serious. Richie Rouge, I'm sure, trying to be. But look at what's happening. Rouge is kicked out of this. I would not have thought it. Bulldozer pushing Rouge into the corner, slinging him in the other corner. Here comes Bulldozer, and he misses. Richie Rouge with a school boy. Is this it? He got it. In my opinion, that has got to be one of the biggest upsets this year. Richie Rouge coming out the winner. A surprise to everyone. We'll be right back. 
To be eligible for the IPW Fan of the Week, send comments to Hamilton Media Group, 850 Tower Building, Little Rock, Arkansas, zip code 72201. Richie Rouge, you showed me, little man, that you are capable of putting me down for the three count. Something I didn't think was even possible from a little pipsqueak like you. But boy, I'm gonna tell you something. I've walked 300,000 miles of barbed wire to get where I am, and I've fought tooth and nail for what I've got. Now, man, I'm gonna tell you something, and I say man very lightly, but mister, you be there, boy, and if you think that you can walk over me, if you think that you can even take me, you just be there, boy, because I'm gonna leave you laying, mister. You got it? And now, let's go to the ring. In this match, Wild Bill Lash against Rockin' Randy Bryant. Shane, this is going to be quite a match. There's some bad blood in this match. There's a lot of history behind this match, and Randy Bryant uh, wants some revenge on Wild Bill Ash. Wild Bill Ash uh, breaking some bones last time, I believe. These men met two years ago, and Randy Bryant came out of it with a broken arm and shoulder. Bill Ash gets ropes. And a clean break. Clean break by Randy Bryant. Now Ash just circling him, trying to get Randy Bryant to come to him. Bill Ash seems to be antagonizing Randy. Brian adjusting his boot. Bill Ash uh, is unpredictable. You, you never can't tell what he's going to do. He, he could be uh, working on his mind or his body or both all of a sudden. And they're just pushing each other around the ring. Ash Bill. forces him back into the ropes. A clean break by Ash. You can feel the, the uh, pressure between these two wrestlers. You can just tell by looking at their faces there's a lot of bad blood. Bill Ash with Randy Bryant on the mat. That's a good ride by Randy Bryant. He's staying right on top of Ash. I think Ash is kind of frustrated now. Wild Bill talking to the audience. Bill Ash talks to the audience a lot. They talk to him a lot too, you know. Ooh. Reversal takedown by Rockin' Randy Bryant's riding him again, staying right on top of him. Kick out by Bill Ash. Look at that face, buddy. That's self-explanatory. Wild Bill Ash is wild at the moment. A lot of frustration is built up inside of Ash now. What do you think about Randy, though? Can you imagine what he feels at the moment? I'd hate to be in Bill Ash's shoes, but then again, you've got a man like Bill Ash, as experienced as he is, he could take Randy Bryant. Wrist twist by Randy Bryant. Throw that elbow in there, buddy. Randy Bryant, of course, trying to hurt Bill Ash. You notice he's working on the arm, as we talked about. Bill Ash broke his arm, and now Randy Bryant is working on Ash's arm. Do you think Bryant is going to go for a break, or? I would say he'd like to break Ash's arm, but I think Ash is in too good a shape for it. Randy Bryant was all of his weight down on the arm, and now back with the arm bar on Bill Ash. Kick out by Wild Bill. Bryant right back to his feet with the arm drag. Ash is right back on the canvas, but he went for the rope. That will cause a break. And with a break in the action, we'll be back to this revenge match in a moment. Wrestling the way it should be. Coming Saturday, March 31st. Carl Albert Junior College, Otto, Oklahoma. Andy Bryant. And Ash has Bryant on the canvas. Bryant, back up. Ash for the swing shot. Oh, oh, there's that vicious forearm that Bill Ash delivered. Randy Bryant taking the punishment he did not want to take in this match. There's boots to the face by Bill Ash in a cover. Count of two. Kick out by Randy. Ash right back on him with a high knee lift. That is a very vicious knee lift. Randy Bryant at the disadvantage at this point. Now, uh oh, there's that short forearm by Bill Ash. Those forearms he throws are vicious. Randy Bryant getting tired of this action coming back. Slick shot, drop kick. He just caught him with the toe of the boots, but it was enough to take Bill Ash to the canvas. Nearly taking Bill Ash out of the ring. Both men are in big trouble. Randy Bryant using the ropes to pull himself to his feet. 
Oh, there's the bell. It's a time limit draw. The time limit has expired. These wrestlers are not going to accept that. Nothing has been established as far as who is what. This is an all-out street fight, buddy. They're just going at it. We draw one-on-one, what you call it. Bill Ace and Randy Bryant. They're just raking faces and doing what they can. of these two people against each other. This is far from over. We'll be seeing a lot more of these two men. Today is just a sample of the exciting action you'll be seeing in the future on international pro wrestling, wrestling the way it should be. I'm your host, Buddy Lee. We'll see you back here next week.